and welcome to another episode of Live Arts with Mr. John. So today we're going to do a really fun and very, very simple art project. We are going to be making popsicle stick puzzles. So what you will need for this, you will need a handful of popsicles. Um, you can either buy them, they're fairly cheap at most craft stores, or even I think you can get them at Dollar General uh, sometimes, or even like, uh, you know, dollar stores around the area. Or you can acquire them just by eating popsicles and just kind of uh, washing them off a little bit. Um, depending on that, you might get some stained ones, so it might be better to buy the craft ones. You'll also need some double-sided tape, um, just initially. And you'll need a set of markers uh, to add some colors. So those are your materials. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to have a, a fairly smooth surface. Um, Preferably one that's not going to be, uh, you know, dirtied up too much, one that's easy to clean. And what you're going to do is you're going to lay your double-sided tape right on the surface. Uh, give yourself some space so that if you need to, you can easily peel it off. Um, but you're just going to put enough of this on to hold your popsicle sticks down. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. Um, one fun thing about double-sided tape is it does have two sides that are sticky. So when you're handling it, um, you just have to have a little more patience because you'll probably accidentally rip up uh, pieces that you've already put on. Okay, so I have my strips of tape laid across uh, about a, how big as I'm going to make this puzzle. Uh, the next thing you want to do is you want to get your popsicle sticks. And very carefully, you want to try to pick out some of the smoother ones you're going to start pressing them onto the tape, uh, kind of butted up against each other, just like this. And again, you're going to continue this until you get the uh, size of the puzzle that you want. Uh, so I think it should be clear now that if you want a more complicated puzzle, you're probably going to want a longer one, uh, but a simpler puzzle, you probably only need maybe a few of these sticks. All right, so I have a fairly decent sized puzzle here. So um, you will notice a couple things when you're doing this. One is that they're not going to entirely line up flush. You're going to see little gaps in between some of these. And that's just because when they're manufacturing these, they can't get them all perfectly straight. Um, they get them as straight as possible. And depending on their use, it usually doesn't matter. Um, if you really are picky about that and you have some sandpaper, you can probably smooth that out. Um, also, even though they should be the same thickness, when I rub my uh, finger against it, you can see that my fingernail is getting caught on some of them that are sticking up. And again, that's something you can either smooth out or you can just let it go. Um, you also notice that this one seems to be kind of springing up, and that's because there's a slight little curve to it. So again, it's just something you have to be aware of when you're doing this. But other than that, your popsicle sticks are set up. So the next step is the fun step where you now get to draw something on this. Now, in order for this to be a true puzzle, you should have at least a little bit of a drawing or of your drawing on each of these popsicle sticks, uh, just so you don't have any blank ones, because honestly, they can go on the top or bottom and it'd probably be fine. So you want to make sure that each one has a drawing on it or part of your drawing on it at some point. But uh, I'm going to get started. I'll start with trusty black here and probably just going to do a simple little creature, so I will get started with that. Alright, so I have a cute little fish here that I've drawn, I've kind of colored in. Um, there are a couple mistakes, um, some areas where the uh, black marker didn't set all the way when I was trying to color in with lighter colors, it did kind of blend and make it darker. Uh, but altogether it was fairly easy to make. Um, I've incorporated all the sticks, even using the, the top of the fins for a couple of these adding some bubbles, and yeah, I got a cute little goldfish here. So I'm going to let this set for a little bit, and then we'll finish it up. All right, so I've given it some time to dry, and now it's the final part. You can start popping off these popsicle sticks, just like that. They come off fairly easy. So I got my popsicle sticks off, and then all I'm going to do is just peel off my tape to clean this up. They come off fairly easy. Could toss that away. 
And then here's my puzzle. So as you can see, I could slide them together and we get the image of a fish or a little goldfish here. But I also did peel these off in order. So if we really want to do this the proper way. All right. And now I have a puzzle ready to go and I can start working on it and trying to figure out what piece goes where. Oh, no, oh, that doesn't go there. All right, and my fish is back. So there you have it. All right, so I want to thank you for watching. Uh, again, this is just a simple project you can do just to pass some time. Um, you can make this as complicated as you want to. Um, you can add more sticks, you can add less sticks. You can do uh, a simple cartoonish little drawing like this. Or you can do an intricate line drawing to make it even more challenging because which way do these little crisscross lines go? So again, just a pastime, have a little fun, be a little bit creative, and yeah, even challenge your mind a little bit by trying to put it back together. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I hope you learned something. I hope you give it a try. And I thank you for watching. And until next time, take care.